Oh no, what I just did. It's a comet on the wrong branch. Well, I will tell you three different ways of moving comets between branches so that you can decide, depending on the situation, which one is your method. For example, this is the easiest situation. Git LGO, that is a shortcut, an alias. I did this commit on main, but I wanted to do a commit on a feature branch. What can I do now? Well, this is the easiest situation. You can do that with just two git commands. First of all, we need to create a new branch with our commit. You usually do git checkout hyphen b to create a new branch, but this will also move our head to the new branch. We only want to create it without moving there. So git branch, and now git lgo, we see that we have two branches, both main and feature new branch, having this commit my feature. So the first commit was git branch, and the second commit is as easy as removing, actually the second command, sorry, is as easy as removing this commit my feature from main, because we already have it on feature new branch. So git reset hyphen hyphen hard and then we can say head one that is remove one commit from head since we are at the main branch git lgo we now see that the main branch has only new commit that is the, the one that we did previously but the my feature commit disappeared and you can also see that our line is no longer here if we now do checkout actually uh, the branch name, if we now move on our new branch, our commit will appear over here. So what happened? We just did two commands and we move our commit from main to a new branch. Let's now go on a more complicated scenario, that is we did a commit on this feature new branch, but we wanted to commit on another existing branch. For example, you can see here that there's branch 1 and branch 2. Let's say we wanted to add this commit on branch 2 instead. What can we do? Well, first of all, we need to soft reset the changes so that we have them in the stage area and not as a commit. We can do that with git reset hyphen hyphen soft and again add tilde 1. Now, what do we have here? We have state changes our line we just added and with git lgo again it's an alias for log one line i could just type log one line here you can see that we are again in the clean situation without the commit we just did now we want to move this change on branch 2 what do you usually do is a simple git checkout branch 2 right because we have these changes here in the states area and you can move between branches with state changes or, or with changes in general. But in case you also did a change on this same line of this file, Git will tell you that you cannot do this simple checkout operation because the files will be overwritten by checkout. So it also suggests you to commit your changes, no, we want to keep them, or stash before switch branches. So we can do as simple as git stash and uh, what happens here we have um, our change in the stash this was from a previous example uh, we have this change here and we can now move between branches so git checkout and branch 2 and the opposite operation of git stash is git stash pop it will just restore what we just put in the stash but what happens here? There's a conflict. Yeah, sure, that's actually the reason why um, Git told us to use stash. But we're using VS Code, so we can just accept both changes, save the file, and the conflict is gone. So we can now finally git commit, and the message is a feature in the right branch. Make sure to add everything, and there you have it. We now have our feature finally on branch 2. And this was the second case. Let's move to the third one that is by using git cherry pick. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this one. Okay, now, you're subscribed, right? Okay, then we can continue. 
Now we want to use git cherry pick to move a commit from this branch to another branch as it could be uh, the branch we created earlier, filter new branch. What can we do? Well, we have to keep the ash of the commit we want to move, for example this one over here, and we can now go check out the target branch, so feature new branch. Actually, if you wanted just to pick the last commit of a branch, you could also use git cherry pick and the name of the branch, this branch 2, but to be more precise, you better use the hash. It is this one over here. What happens here? It will auto merge the change we did on that commit on this other branch. Let's check our logs. And now we have on our feature new branch the add description commit that is the commit that introduces this line. Actually, again, make sure to check out the hash because it's not the same because you're on a different branch. So you carried over the changes of that commit 08 but actually you did a new commit 02 now we have the same commit actually the content of the same commit on both branches we now want to go check out again our source branch that was um, branch 2 and from here we want to get rid of this line we already know how to do that because it was the last commit here so we can use git reset hyphen hyphen hard head this is a shortcut tilde one and I type rest reset okay so we now have our branch 2 again in the right state without the line we added here and if we move on our feature new branch we finally have this line we just added so again what we just did was cherry picking a commit from a branch to another one. Pretty easy, right? Well, that was all for today, so thank you very much for watching and doing this kind of git series where I show you how you can use the git commands to perform the actions you might need more often. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when the new videos are out. And for now, let me recommend you to watch... Where is it? Oh, it's on the other side. Let me recommend you to watch this other video here because I keep talking about git. See you there!